How to place a trade. Let's focus on taking a trade with the MetaTrader platform. Make sure you are on the right chart to start with, as this will determine the order box that will be opened. Let's take a look at the Euro USD. Select the New Order tab. The order box will display the relevant information on the currency pair you have selected to trade. The symbol is the actual name of the currency pair or instrument you are placing a trade on. As you can see, it states the name Euro versus US Dollar. The volume refers to the lot size to trade with. In other words, how much money you would like to allocate per pip. Depending on the type of account you have opened with AxiTrader and the actual currency pair you have elected to trade, the volume size of 1.00 normally equals $10 per pip, 0.10 equals $1 per pip, and 0.01 is $0.10 cents per pip. The types of orders range from either market orders or pending orders. Let's select market execution for this example. Please note the bid and ask are displayed here. Let's take a buy order on this currency pair. Our order has been confirmed at this price here. Click OK. Let's also take a sell order as well on another currency pair, the US Swiss. Click New Order, select the volume size, and then proceed to execute the sell by market order. The order has been successfully entered at this price here. As you can see, we have taken two trades a long on the Euro USD and a short on the US Swiss. If we refer to the chart, the buy order is located here at the entry price on the Euro USD, represented by the green dotted line, and the sell order is shown here for the US Swiss. This is the entry price. Let's confirm these trades by referring to the trade section of the terminal below. Both trades have been entered, however we have not allocated a stop loss or profit order for either trade as yet. Right click on the trade itself in the terminal, select modify and delete order, and allocate the stop loss level. In this case, we have taken a buy on the Euro USD. Therefore, the stop loss must be placed below the entry price at a given tolerant point. The profit target order must be above the entry price. Once you have entered these levels, then click Modify. If we look at the chart, the stop loss order has been placed here, below the initial entry here, and the profit order is located here above the entry. For the US Swiss sell that was executed, the stop loss needs to be placed above the entry price as you are selling the market hoping it will go down and the profit order to be placed below the entry. On the chart, these orders have been executed where the stop loss is here, the entry here, and the profit order down here. When referring to the terminal, it is evident that all the orders are in place. If these trades are successful, in other words, if the Euro USD goes up, and the US Swiss goes down, the profit orders will be triggered and following this the trades will be automatically closed. If the trades go against the direction of your analysis, the stop loss orders will activate and the trades will be closed resulting in a loss. There is the option of manually closing the position if you choose to exit prior to either profit or stop loss orders are triggered. Right click on the trade you are in, click on close order and select the yellow close tab. This will instantly close your position. The close price of the position is displayed here. Click OK to exit the order box. This concludes how to place a trade.